Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Whoa, that was a weird intro. Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. We are jumping in again. Let's go with Fish with the Bazooka. Sadly, no other skins for him, but <laughs> I've never done a Bazooka run off the bat. I think it could be fun. It seems like a terrible idea considering the consistently high amount of times that I kill myself with explosives, but we don't have to use it for the whole run. We just have to start with it. I love the idea of the golden weapons. So fun. Ultramod does a great job of tweaking them and changing them around as well. Oh, hello. Okay. Just, just, just let me get, let's just let me get all these rads and we can go. Okay, we're into the, uh, the photo negative area. I'm, I'm not really sure if there's much that can help us here, apart from obviously, uh, the thing that makes it so that we don't take damage from explosions below a certain HP threshold. Everything else, I'm... Oh, dude. Do you know? It was bound to happen. Also, accidentally went back to the main menu there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else could maybe help us there. Uh, obviously, I do have to actually sort of comprehend that I'm using this weapon and not fire it at point-blank range. That was, um, as we call it in the business, a bad idea. But not always going to happen. Sometimes I'll actually not be a complete goober and um, remember to keep my distance. Also, those enemies were hard, so I'm going to blame it on that, even though that wasn't at all the reason why I died. But that was the reason I died. Um, we also got ourselves a, a shotgun here, which we've kind of been proving recently that shotguns are um, a top dog for us. I don't know why. They're, they're one of my favorite weapon types, but we've also just been doing alarmingly well with them, which is always nice. Ooh. You see, hit myself there because I fired at that enemy at not quite point blank range, but near. So I think taking tough shell, I don't know if this counts for self damage, but I think regardless, taking less damage is going to make this slightly more viable. Um, okay, big bandits here. Take care of you. It's the maggots that don't die that, that I find problematic. Oh, that hit me. Oh, it, don't worry, guys. We'll, we'll get used to it. Also, I keep accidentally going back to the main menu. I apologize. We'll get used to it. By the way, people have been asking when I'm going to play the other modded characters. I'm not sure. I do want to play them, but I'd rather have thumbnails for them first, just because nothing else exists. One moment. Okay, we are back. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to end up killing myself a lot. It's going to happen. Blood rifle again? Not bad. I do need to remember as well that I can use this to, like, make myself space. Like, I keep kind of forcing myself into these situations where I'm having to get way too close to enemies, but in actual fact, I can make the space to make sure I'm not way too close to enemies. That's kind of the point of explosive weapons in this game, or at least one of the major benefits. Maybe not the point, but definitely one of the major, um, pros. Almost did it again there. It's just, I think the I think the problem is having like these little enemies and stuff. I get too held up on the explosive weapon. Like I, I try and use it in situations where I ought and not. And that's probably why I get myself killed a lot of the time. I need to have that, that space that I was just saying, but also, okay, boiling veins is necessary here. I need to have that space, but also I need to just kind of assess and realize when it's not worth using it sort of thing. But we do have to remember that Boiling Veins isn't an instant win with an explosive weapon. It only protects us from a certain amount of damage and prevents us from killing ourselves with it. It is still dangerous to us, and we'd still rather not hit ourselves with an explosion if we can help it. It's just there in case we do, which we will. The longer I use this, the more prone it is to happen. I do know I do want a better secondary, because the blood rifle's okay, but the damage is very, very low. There you go. Director grenade? No. I'm not going to take a director grenade launcher with a rocket launcher. Seems like a very bad idea. Um, and then... I don't know. I do not know. I think glass cannons... This is... Is it 4 HP? It's 5. Okay. Glass cannon puts us to 6 HP. This is actually a pretty good combo, you know. Because now we can only lose 1 HP from our rocket launcher. Ever. Which means this is potentially a really cool strategy where we can point blank and we kind of should point blank to make it more effective. Of course, it does mean we're prone to other damage killing us quickly. But I kind of like the idea behind this. This is a, this is a sort of layout that I haven't 
really considered before, and it's definitely worth considering. I'm, I think Gamma Guts would be really good on top of this. But I don't know what else. I, by the way, I do want to say, Territorial Expansion, one of the other mods that I used to use a lot, has just been updated, and apparently a lot of the lag issues have been fixed, which was, to be honest, one of the main issues I had with that mod. The only problem is that it isn't actually compatible with Ultramod, from what I know, and honestly, Ultramod is my baby. I don't know if I could stop using Ultramod. It's too good. I'm trying to think what else would be good with this. Um, extra fire rate... Last Wish doesn't really help us. I guess I'll go with this just in case we sw swap over what we're using later. We might not, but... Release there. Got you as well. Segway boy. Okay, just got to keep our ammo. Ammo situation is not amazing. Got a frost machine gun there. Also police. What's a police? Why is there so many police? There you go. Bro. Doing well. I like it. Just, also, we got to assess what enemies were point blanking or what enemies getting close. We don't want to get close to assassins. We don't want to get close to snipers. There's still a lot of enemies that could majorly mess us up if we get too close. But, this is fun. I think Boiling Pains used to be four, but either this mod or the older patches make it five. I'm not sure which it is. Just remember we had melee here. Get over there and grab all that crap. Director Plasma Gun seems like a good grab. Seems like a definite good grab. Okay. Right. I think next thing is Strong Spirit. That's going to be pretty necessary too, just in case. We got a lot of just in cases here. Really? We got a lot of just in cases here, but I think they're worth it. See, that guy, that explosive runny boy, normally huge issue. No longer huge issue. In fact, now, kind of a small issue. I don't know what hit me for such high damage there, but I need to be now careful. Keep forgetting that these things can still seal considerable contact damage to me. High numbers. Mainly just turrets left about now. Lightning screwdriver. Okay, good stuff. We've made it pretty far considering here. Bullet wall. I'll take bullet wall. Might die here. I'm not really used to fighting this guy on low HP. And honestly, I'm not super used to his attack patterns, but we got through it. Yeah, bullet wall, wall bullet, whatever it was called. Seems kind of good for just clearing out a good crop of enemies. Getting them out of that face sort of thing. And it's also got a really good fire rate. I think that's mainly because of the elbow giving it a plus 30%. Is that a flare shot gun? Get behind a flare shotgun, maybe. Okay, good. Taking care of. I don't think I've ever been hit by one of the disc enemies. I have no idea how much damage they do. Luckily, their discs are very slow moving. Oh, you didn't die? Wow. I just kind of love the fact that we can just kind of fire this without any any worries. Or little worries, should I say? What's in? No worries whatsoever. That guy almost caught me. Okay. 
that was kind of a close one, but we got through here. Um, I really don't know what's best here. Alkaline Saliva could be really good. I think we'll take that. That's yet more safety, I guess. It's always going to be good to, to grab onto that safety whenever we can. I don't know if this is going to be a throne run. Ooh, what the hell? Crown of Freedom. Walls don't exist. The hell is that? What does that even mean? I feel like I have to try that, but not yet. I think that's something I can try later. Right, let's try and use just the flare shotgun here and see how well it performs. Oh, shit. I kind of forgot about this guy. Okay, this guy could kill us. Let's be very careful about this guy. I hate this boss so much. Be designed better, please. Okay, he actually died pretty quick there. Still, don't like him. Time bomb. What the heck? I can't tell what the time bomb does apart from lower my frame rate, but if that's what it means by time bomb, I'm not quite sure. Oh no, I just realized this flare thing uses the same ammo as our launcher. That, that, that's kind of maybe why we've been having issues with ammo. Slugger Cannon seems amazing. Yep, Slugger Cannon is amazing. I didn't realize flare, you, flare ammo was explosive. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but I don't know. I thought it was something else. I, I don't know what it was. I wasn't really considering it, I'll be honest. Still definitely need uh, Gamma Guts if I can get it. Because these enemies are getting very, very close. Lightning Striker. That's cool. I'm swapping out guns a lot here, but I'm just having fun with new weapons. There's a lot of new weapons that I'm seeing at the moment. Yeah, they're just, just fun times. Especially when it's other ammo types this time around. This floor definitely scares me a little bit. I think the big bat can be a real nuisance. But... I think we've gotten better at him. I kind of understand his weird attack now. I never used to. Don't know how good it's going to be with the rocket launcher, so I want to try and save up some energy ammo for the fight. Kraken Yo-Yo Gun. Now, Kraken Yo-Yo Gun seems interesting, because I've never actually seen that before. Like, Kraken Guns are really interesting, Never seen a yo-yo form. And the yo-yo guns are also really good too, so... Unfortunately, yet again, this is the same ammo type. So, maybe not the most ideal situation. But, I don't know. I feel like this could be really strong. Um, Water boost and dodge frames, um, instead of... Five gets even more ammo from ammo pickups. Let's take that, why not? We get some iframes on our roll now, which is... Kind of intriguing. Wait, look at that. Look how good that is. That's that's insanely good. Like, I kind of have to use this, right? But yeah, getting even more ammo from ammo pickups now is going to help too. Slug cannon again. Okay, yeah, ammo's looking fine. I'll keep the... <laughs> like Kevin Cosner. I'll keep the slug cannon in mind in case I want it for the boss. Because I, I don't really need my rocket launcher so much anymore. That isn't obvious already. See, it's kind of fallen off a little bit. Toxic cannon. Hmm. Seems dangerous. <laughs> Seems like a perfect way to kill myself, I'll be honest. But, I'd be remiss if I didn't try it on the boss. Um, I really like impact wrists for looping, so I'm going to take that right now. The Thunder Kraken. Uses the same ammo, unfortunately. 
Um, I'll take the Toxic Cannon. I feel like it's a very bad idea to fire it during this fight, which means I definitely will fire it during this fight. We don't quite have the damage output that we've had previously here. I think I'm going to fire it maybe to the side of him. I don't know. Oh gosh, the screen shake there. I can't tell when he's dead or not. Okay, he is dead. That is an obscene amount of damage output right there. Good, good. Level up again. Getting, getting onto a loop here is pretty good. Um, I think we probably want to go with Rhino skin at this point. We got the guitar. This thing, this thing's nutty. We got the fire line. We know how good the line weapons are, so could maybe take that if we wanted. The where's a rifle? Interesting. I think this thing's gonna carry us for now. This thing's pretty pretty darn strong. Where's a rifle's not really doing much for us. Right now we're looking for more golden weapons. We're looking for um just any new weapons to try out and see for ourselves. I'm sure there'll be quite a few. The slug cannon is um Seeming to be a pretty popular choice right now. It came quite a few times. Hey, we reached Ultra. Um, enemies sometimes drop chests. Infinite ammo. Get a partner. And reduce ammo slash rad cost by 5%. Increase primary fire rate depending on your speed. Much more effective than rolling. I just want to get a partner. I think I've, had to, I think I've used this before. Yeah, I have. But it's, it's really good. It's just an infinite ammo little floaty gun that shoots while it's by your side. Super Splinter Blade Gun. I feel like that's a terrible idea. Super Splinter Blade Gun. I feel like I'll... Oh, okay, I see. That's definitely going to kill me if I fire it more than, more than once. Let's, uh, let's refrain, shall we? Missile Cannon, though. Promising. Honestly, I, I I don't know why I don't take the Kraken weapons more often. They're so insane. I mean, this one particularly is kind of crazy because it lingers. It stays in the air for a, a pretty decent amount of time, which is, I think, why it's doing as much damage as it currently is. But still, like, look how quick it killed Mum there. We've been getting some really good looping builds here. Also, I think my buddy can destroy bullets, which is interesting and not normal. Ooh, we got a golden sniper there. Luckily, he didn't get a chance to shoot. As I've said before, golden enemies are, uh, I believe, loop exclusive, or at least if they're not, they're very rare outside of loops. And they basically are just harder variants of other enemies. Got him. We got swarm something or other there. I don't know what it was. The swarm minigun. Pretty good. This will take it. Yeah, as I've said before, I, I genuinely think that I don't know how they did it, but um the, the bouncy corpse item, I can never remember what it's called now. Um not rhino, so what the hell is it called? Impact wrists. I genuinely think impact wrists has gone from a pretty low tier pick that's like kind of niche. You, you kind of normally just take it for a bit of fun and not much else. That was this. Collect. Okay. Um, you kind of take it as a, just a niche thing to have a bit of fun with and not much else, but now it's genuinely something that you take for value. I mean, early game it's not quite as good, but late game it becomes very valuable. Herming and weapon drop. I guess we go with Herming. I think it already is somewhat Herming, but I can't see that being bad. I'll also step into the boss chamber, wherever they are, and um, collect probably our plus one HP. Yeah. Not much else in there, unfortunately, but plus one HP is really nice. I really love the idea of this room. It gives you a bit more of an objective when you're looping as well, which I think is fun. Uh, do you know what? Let's 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 go for um, let's go for this. Try this out. I don't know if we're prepared for it, especially ammo-wise, that's my main concern. But I think maybe with the buddy, plus the amount of health we have right now, 
I think we might be able to do it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm primarily concerned about ammo right now, I'll be honest. Honestly, the buddy does such a good job. Why am I not getting any um, explosive ammo? All the ammo I'm picking up is other ammo. I'm trying to avoid firing if possible and let my buddy do most of the work. Not always going to be plausible. Whoa, is this a... That's a I think that's a golden sniper right there doing that. Makes sense. Get some overheal going on there. The good thing about this thing as well is it's got some significant AoE. It's kind of got those tentacles that blast out and hit things, which is really what's making it uh, quite good. I think we've got little hunters inbound. I don't know how many of them, but I definitely... Okay, we did it. We, de we managed it. This must have been turned down, because I remember the first time I tried this, it was quite literally impossible. Uh, okay, so this is a swarm, so we want to we wanna swap swarm for something, really. Uh, splinter. Swarm for snow. Um... <laughs> Seeker for missile. Um, I mean, I could go for, like, bullet to something and just find another gun. I mean, I could go with Kraken to something, but, like, I don't know. Swarm to Toxic. There's only two for Swarm right now. Um, let's maybe try to go for Bullet for something. Um... Da -da -da -da. Bullet for splinter. I think, yeah, let's try, let's try bullet for splinter. Um, bullet to splinter. We also got the Kraken cannon there. Um, and then we'll try and find ourselves a bullet weapon, like a regular bullet weapon, because there's quite a lot of those. Oh, we didn't get that same crown choice as last time with the, with the no walls, whatever it was called. No way, I didn't think about this. I did not think about this. Okay, that was a good choice. I didn't realize that my buddy fired, technically fired bullets. Now he fires splinters. Yeah. Now I don't really need a bullet weapon. Because he's doing all the work. Like, he's doing the same damage, just about, but I think it's seems to be doing much more for me. Seems to be good. Can't actually tell how good it is, but I like it. I still want to try out like a regular like double minigun or something with all the splinter shots coming out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if you saw what happened there, but I got a shot reflected back at me that basically insta-killed me. Okay, luckily a lot of health towards the end there. That was a bit risky. I love the um, the swap projectiles thing. It's it's pretty overpowered and kind of like can be a little buggy, but I kind of love that about it. It's, it's completely optional. Back in here again. We've healed. We haven't killed anyone else, have we? Since no, we haven't. You kind of need to do multiple loops to get through all those. I think taking the alt path right off the bat, which I don't do that often just because it is quite hard, but taking the alt path right off the bat is a surefire way to get a few more of those bosses early on. But yeah, like I said, I don't tend to do that on a, on loop one or sometimes even loop two because then floors are significantly harder. Or at least in my opinion, they are. Super bouncer bazooka. Everyone wants a bouncy bazooka. Hello, purple dragon. a lot. Okay. We're through. Oh god, don't blow that up. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Try blowing up on the top of it. Okay. Fight through this. I think we got probably another another flaw in us. More golden assault rifles unlocked. Well, golden weapons unlocked, sorry. What I like to see. I definitely think I'm getting better at this game. I think all, I mean, a lot of it is luck, but I, th I feel like 
you you don't because of the way that the weapon grading works you very rarely get lucky early so i feel like i am definitely improving at this game so because you have to be skillful enough to survive to the point where you get lucky if you know what i mean kind of sounds a bit weird but i feel like i feel like i'm making sense so I, i'm not it's not just as if i get one good weapon and that's it i've won the whole run it's more like i have to play well until i get that one good weapon then that carries me through the loops and even then even with good weapons you still have to play somewhat tactically because there's a little bit of ammo management in it and a certain threat management like with that reflective shot that i did earlier you've really got to make sure that doesn't happen too often and certain bosses too i mean ones like this cheshire cat here just aren't dying sometimes some of them just don't go down we'll see how long this carries us for though definitely makes me feel that sometimes the weapon grading isn't quite right like i know that not every weapon is going to fit perfectly into its perfect grade but this weapon is meant to be an 11 grade um and it's it's clearing you know, oh god that i kind of just stood right in front of that one didn't i i don't know maybe it's just the kraken weapons in general it's just the infinity shotgun infinity shotgun's kind of interesting i still haven't seen a bullet weapon yet i don't think Nope, did not did not even see the entrance of this vault i'll be honest okay so this time we should have the cheshire cat increase the uh, value of radiation by a bit okay not too bad can we take the ultimate challenge again i've never actually considered that maybe you can on a future loop i doubt you can do it again on the same loop you can we'll be doing that does it get harder? Because it, I was about to say, does it get harder? Yes, it does. Because it's not the same boss we fought before. Interesting. I think we, now we've got a splinter firing buddy. We should be okay. I'm trying to think now. Maybe I'll do splinter to something else. To, to then see if I can make my buddy do even, even more damage. I feel like... Trying to power up my buddy specifically is kind of a fun way of doing this. Look at that, Look at that damage. Nutty. Right. I think we've got one more big, big wave coming. I'm trying to be, like I said, I'm trying to be pretty passive in these smaller waves because my buddy is just doing such a good job. I don't need to use my ammo. for the vans maybe i should uh be taking care of them because they reflect okay we're good right so calm down why is one of these just stuck okay that was weird that was very strange um so we want to go splinter to something splinter to electro splinter to bullet um Splinter to Electra. Splinter to Electra could be good. I was really hoping for like a plasma or like to rocket or something crazy. Blood to Mila. Let's try it. Oh, wait. That's overwritten my last one, so I think that'll... Yeah, I don't think that worked as I intend, intended it to at all, did it? Damn. Okay, I think that's just going to return my guy essentially back to normal. Um, That's a shame. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think this is just going to return him back to normal. For some reason, a cross sword gun, kind of interesting. Um, <coughs> I kind of thought... It would stack on top of that and then kind of chain on from it. In retrospect, I should have known. Yeah, it's returned him back to firing bullets. In retrospect, I should have known the way it was going to work, really, shouldn't I? Yeah, but the, the Frost Sword, also a pretty good weapon. Allowed us for a pretty swift kill on this guy. I'll try and do another ultra challenge if we get the option to do one. And then try and swap forward for something different. 
I think bullet's always a safe choice. This is our second video in a row now where we've got far into the loops. Okay. Rage could be good. We're getting so many drops that we don't have to worry too much at the minute. There should be another throne ball here on the floor. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... Maybe not. Nah, I think we've seen everything. Is that it? Okay. Waiting for the next throne bolt. Should be pretty soon. I'm kind of just walking through everything right now because I, I, I feel like I can. Why is that even appearing right now? Okay, get me through there. I don't think Throne Vault can appear in the sewers. I've never seen it happen, I don't think. It might be able to. Infestor? What's the Infestor? Interesting. I don't really, can't really tell what it does. Didn't realize how, how low my health I've got on there. It doesn't seem that good. Ultra Glove. Ultra Glove could be interesting. Probably gonna get me killed, but it could be interesting. hell is this thing? This thing fire b actual bowling balls? Ah, oh, I just stood right in front of that. Anyways, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.